I had the pleasure of dropping off my niece for college at Colorado Mesa University. While we were in Grand Junction, we decided it would be fun to go visit Colorado National Monument. We drove the historic Rim Rock Drive, starting on Monument Road at the East Grand Junction entrance and finished at the West entrance in Fruta. It's a winding 23 miles of road with spectacular views of Red Rock Canyons, clear blue skies, and lots of wildlife. We saw a desert bighorn sheep, many different birds soaring the skies, and some smaller animals like squirrels and chipmunks scampering around the ground. I think it's incredible, the, the background. If you're going to drive Rim Rock Road, plan at least an hour or more depending on how many stops you're going to make. There are several overlooks for you to stop at to take in the scenery and snap some pictures. You can view rock layers that date over 1.7 billion years ago. There are plenty of hiking trails to explore, as well as the Saddlehorn Campground, which is open from mid-March through October every year, if you'd like to extend your stay by a night or two. I've heard the night sky is unforgettable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, it's I'm a so little nauseating. There are three tunnels along Rimrock Drive measuring a maximum height of 16 feet. So please use caution if you're traveling with a camper. That is really cool too. Where? The end of our route was the visitor center, which is just four miles from the west entrance in Fruta. It's a great place to stop and learn more about the history of the monument, the different layers of rock, and maybe pick up a souvenir or two.
I wasn't sure what to expect when we were heading towards the Colorado National Monument, but it didn't disappoint. The scenery was breathtaking, and I'm sure we'll be back with more time to explore and hike and maybe camp a couple nights. Hope you enjoy.